Hello YouTube, this will be the first video in a small little video series about this M Cotone 120 that I bought this winter for about 300 bucks. And the first thing I gotta do is to, to mount the machine bed down to this one. I got this one from, from Grandpa. Not perfect perhaps, but it was free so. I will happily accept this one and since I got a bit uh, lack of space in here I will also attempt to, to mount these wheels here down under here so I can move it around I'm not So this is how it looks. So the plan is to, to mount these two first and then this one on top. And then the machine bed down to this one. I now made some center punishing. So let's put these ones into the wise and, and do some, some drilling with the mini mill. I'm gonna fix a stand so that I don't have to hold the camera all the time. Yep. There we go. Perhaps one shouldn't drill deeper than five times. The diameter. I think I will change the rule so that I don't destroy it. So here is the brand of the 5mm Chinese drill. This one cost 12 bucks. So pretty expensive. But um, I drilled many holes with this one now and haven't haven't uh, destroyed it so far. So let's change over to an old Sandvik drill I bought. This one is about 10 bucks. And I think this one is 5x uh, diameter in depth. And this one is 10 point something. So that will for sure be okay. This one I actually used quite a bit too and it looks looks almost like brand new. So this drill here, this one is no joke. And it's perhaps not aimed for a hobbyist like me, but I bought it for about Thirty bucks, and I thought it was cool to, to try it out. So this is how it turned out.
So the next thing to do is to mount this tray here that will be the bottom of the enclosure. So I'll have to take the machine off and uh, this one as well and then drill some holes into this one and mount it. So let's do that. So now I'll drill some holes here and seem to line up pretty good. So let's test mount it. Some O-rings or some rubber seal here would be good, but unfortunately I don't have any, so I don't know what to do about that. Perhaps put some some silicone around these ones. I don't know. But now I checked so that uh, these fittings here are where they should be. I simply took and connected one hose and then uh, lubricated some and checked that uh, I had lubrication on all spots and as you can see here came out some some uh, grease that was stuck so it was actually pretty good that I that I took this procedure since I thought it, it was clean here inside the channels I didn't see anything but now it's extra clean so what needs to be done now is to mount these type of fittings for lubrication on, on the ball nut. And after that, put it uh, together and also mount the pump on the side somewhere. So let's continue. Right, so now mounted this little unit here with the ball screw. And I can see, see an issue here with the way cover should be over here. I don't think this is gonna work, so that'll be a problem. So next thing to do is to mount this one. And now it's nice to have, have wheels so that I can, can work from this side. So now this one is mounted as well and had some issues with uh, taper, taper jibs. You don't want this one to fall down so one ha has to be a bit careful and pull this one and then try to insert the gibbs and, and uh, get the tension right of course one could have for example put something here so it doesn't slide down but uh, i wasn't that clever anyways i think that i will mount uh, this one now, I think I will mount it down here. This sheet. So the pump is now mounted and I also connected the hoses. They are a bit too long. I will trim them down a bit when, uh, when I receive the cable drag chains next week. And it was a threaded hole here for the original motor mount. So I mounted this little thing here and it was uh, pretty perfect. Five input ports here or output ports here. And that was just what I needed. So the oil comes from down here in this one. I will need to make some kind of uh, nice... Uh, connection into the enclosure later and then the oil goes in here and out to where it needs to be lubricated and with these screws here you can adjust so that uh, you can distribute the oil so I now mounted the steppers again and I think that uh, I will end this video here and upload it since it was a while since I uploaded on YouTube but um, I will continue to work on it so next video will be very soon thank you very much for watching and feel free to comment whatever you want and Please press thumbs up and
thanks to, to everyone that has subscribed so far and if you haven't subscribed i would appreciate if you did so take care and see you soon